Last July, Senators Jean Shaheen and Lindsey Graham visited Mombij, the same town in northern Syria where the U.S. forces were killed yesterday. Joining me now is Senator Jean Shaheen, member of the Armed Services Committee and Foreign Relations Committees, and Diane Foley, the mother of James Foley, an American journalist, of course, murdered by ISIS in 2014. Uh, Diane, it's good to see you again. I know that... Uh, with the passage of time, nothing becomes any easier, especially the confusion over policy, U.S. policy. Your reaction to the president's precipitous announcement of withdrawing from that area in, in Syria, which, of course, also sparked the resignation of Jim Mattis. I'm incredibly concerned, Andrea, and I thank you for this opportunity, because I think um, President Trump and um, the American people seem to forget that part of our role in Syria is to help the Syrian Kurds with the containment of about 1,100 um, Islamic State fighters who, are, who the, whom they have detained. And amid those, that group, are two of the alleged captors, and torturers, and murders of our four young Americans. And I feel it's, it's essential that we hold these men accountable for the targeting and killing of our son Jim Foley, Stephen Sotloff, Peter Kasich, and Kayla Mueller. Um, and that seems to have been forgotten in this conversation also, that the Syrian Kurds are holding so many, 700 Islamic fighters who nobody wants to um, hold accountable, prosecute and um, hold accountable for their human rights crimes. Well, you make such an important point, Diane, because as Richard Engel was meeting with the Kurdish commanders there, the Syrian Kurdish commanders, they have no way to hold these people. And Senator Shaheen, they will be released as we withdraw. Well, that's what we've heard from the Syrian Democratic Forces. Without the United States support, uh, they may be forced to release those uh, Foreign fighters, we have hundreds of foreign fighters. There are actually thousands when you count ISIS, the ISIS um, folks who were see seized on the battlefield. And one of the reasons I went to Mambij and to northeastern Syria last summer was to see firsthand what was happening with the people who were being detained and those terrorists who we think are suspected of being responsible for the killing of James Foley and the other Americans. And. It, it, we really need to continue to make sure that they're being held because the threat for them to be released um, is not just to fail to provide justice for James and the other Americans, but it's also that they could be released, they could go back to uh, the United States, to other countries around the world and engage in further terrorist attacks and continue to fight on the battlefield in Syria. And it really refutes the claim that ISIS has been defeated in Syria. It has not, as we saw so clearly yesterday. And speaking of that, the vice president was speaking today at the Pentagon. Let's see a, a bit of what he had to say about this. Their families and our armed forces should know their sacrifice will only steal our resolve. That as we begin to bring our troops home, we will do so in a way that ensures that the remnants of ISIS will never be able to reestablish their evil and murderous caliphate. Diane Foley, uh, the Vice President says that, and I was traveling and, you know, this week with uh, Mike Pompeo in the Middle East and the Gulf States saying, similarly, we're not going to abandon our allies there, but we are withdrawing. And no one explains how. They keep saying we're going to get rid of all the Iranian boots on the ground. And they don't explain how they're going to do that with U.S. soldiers gone. And I, I agree, Andrea. It just doesn't make sense. And if we don't keep our brave soldiers in places where they can hold on to the victories we've achieved, essentially, um, uh, ISIS will just go underground and use these opportunities to reappear wherever they, they're incredibly shrewd. And I really wonder where is our outrage about the targeting and killing of innocent Americans? Where is our accountability? I, and I call on our president to bring these two alleged captors 
into back to our country for a transparent criminal court room um, uh, for true accountability so we can actually find out where is their leader, where is al-Baghdadi and the other leaders. They've all gone underground and hidden. And we need to be shrewd enough to follow through with these promises to not allow ISIS to gain a foothold and threaten our entire way of life. So I thank you for um, helping us get that message out. Well, Diane Folio, thank you for your passion and your courage and, and stamina in all of this. And it's good to see you again. And thanks for keeping on this as we promised to as well. Thank you. And thank you, Senator Shaheen. Thank you so much. Thanks, Diane. We'll